This is the unglamorous side of adventuring. <sighs> Set out with no real purpose today. Just thought I'd go for a little mooch in the car and see what I could find. And sometimes this is what happens. You just end up going down roads like this. Um, with no idea of where it's going to lead you to and not really much of anything happening anywhere. So this is just part and parcel of it. This is just one of the things that happens. You get out in the car, you drive aimlessly and you stumble across things. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's just one of the things. Sometimes when um, adventure doesn't come to you, you've got to go to the adventure, I suppose. And this is kind of reminding me of the film Signs, which is freaking me out a little bit. Um, all this calm and me in the middle, so yeah. And I'm hearing lots of freaky noises. It sounds like dogs are running through the corn towards me and I have to keep stopping and listening. But um, never mind. I'm going to start heading out of here anyway now, so get back in the car. And may the journey continue, we will, we will find somewhere. This is going to be a complete geek moment, but just look at this tree. Like, I know this is nerdy, I understand, but I can't. I just love stuff like this. Look at the size of this tree. Is that not amazing? This guy's gonna now question me what I'm doing, filming this tree. There we go. Yeah, you're right. Uh, in your car? Yeah, yeah. So that was you about 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago? Down there about 10 minutes ago, there was no one with the car. Oh, I was just at the fence there taking pictures across the field there. Right, okay. Did anybody please give me permission to do that? I didn't have to get permission. Private. Man. This is private? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Where, where was the private sign? You go out the drive, you look on your left, there's yeah. a sign that says private. I didn't come in that way. And that end? Is there? I'll go back on and check. I didn't realise I could see that. Private Grimston Park. All right. Grimston Park should be private. No worries, I'll go. You're allowed to walk on the drive. Yeah. Really, residents in yeah. Grimston Park. Because I saw a sign that said dogs on lead or something later. Like Down the bottom, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it says Grimston Park should be private, both ends. All right, Obviously, okay. there's a shoot here. Oh, is there? You're walking around. Yeah, okay. I don't know where you are. Yeah, no worries, I didn't realise right. that. Yeah. No worries, mate. Cheers. Well, that escalated quickly, didn't it? I'm only fucking taking a picture of a tree and nearly get shot by a shotgun. There's a shoot going on, apparently. This is private land, um, although I never saw any signs whatsoever to say this was private land. I did see signs saying, uh, make sure that your dogs are on lead um, and things like that. And in fact, there was arrows probably actually pointing down this way. There's like um, a national trust. Um, kind of a scenic drive through this, this wooded area so that's why I chose to come this way. Didn't realise there was a shoot going on. I've not heard any gunshots or anything so yeah I don't know what he was talking about but maybe he's right and I'm wrong so just to be on the safe side best get out of here. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So ladies and gentlemen apparently it's not the children hanging out on street corners or outside shops that you want to worry about in this day and age. It's the people taking pictures of trees that can cause a massive problem. Where am I going here right now? I have no idea. I'm trying to find an abandoned building still. Failing miserably. Almost been shot by a shotgun.
fire. But what? So I've arrived at a random location um, and I'm going to do a lot of background check a lot of background checking on this location once I get home um, I believe it to be an old RAF base that was put out of use because it was built too close to a river too close to the river and uh, on the morning the fog would come in off that river making it very hard for the pilots to uh, take off and many many people many many pilots did in fact crash and die um, on that runway because of that as a result so this is where I am I'm at the our old RAF base um, and I'm on my own and I keep hearing noises um, which is very strange so yeah I'm gonna keep you updated and maybe add a bit more history background to this video later on once I get home and start editing oh fuck's sake Hello? I'm just doing some filming. Hello? Hello? What the fuck? It sounded like somebody. It sounded like somebody walked across that carpet that I just walked across. Oh man, I'm getting out of this bit. This is freaking the shit out of me. Okay, so I'm hearing noises everywhere I go. Like literally every. Every building I go in, I'm hearing noises, but you are going to hear noises, I suppose, because this thing's falling to bits. It's all old and creaky. Um, so yeah, so you're going to hear noises, but I don't know. There's just a really weird, eerie feeling about this place. And it's just so big. It's like humongous. There's so many different buildings to explore and... Um, and to go search um, yeah so this is pretty eerie on my own walking through all this there's broken glass everywhere the building is absolutely in a state of decay the floors don't look safe the roofs are caving in um, but yeah okay it's, um, I'm completely wrong and I know I am because I've done a brief background check of this place before so I know I'm completely wrong in saying this but it does give me a feeling of um, like an old 
concentration camp. Um, I don't know why, just maybe the little hut buildings and the big towers um, attached to some of the buildings. It definitely gives me that feeling. Um, yeah, of an old concentration camp as I'm walking around, but I know it's not. It's just a really eerie place. So this room is a completely different setup. This is clearly animal pens. Animals at some point have been stationed in these pens, but why? I thought this was an old RAF base, but we can still see the old, the old, what day is that? Is there any dates on there? No, nope. But yeah, it looks like old pig pens. Whoa, that just freaked me the hell out. What the? What the fuck? Hello. This feels really airy. Get out of here. Let me just get the hell out of here. Oh my god, this is freaky as hell. There's a really big draft coming through here. freaky coming through there really really scary there was a more than one or two bangs and I don't have any idea what they were I'm not about to go down that corridor um, and try and search out where that noise came from it sounded like someone had dropped something on the floor but the worst part of this whole situation right now is I've just come out of the other end thinking I could just 
walk on and I can't because I'm just blocked in by overgrown dense vegetation so that's the building I'm just come out of and all the way around me is dense vegetation so basically that means I've got to go back through that place I've just come which I'm not looking forward to at all I could run through it but when you start running you just make yourself more scared so maybe that's not a wise idea that sounded like a bugle like a military bugle Um, I've just decided I've just decided against going back through that building because um, I don't have a clue what that noise was in there I heard multiple noises and at one point I thought I heard whispers in that building from down that corridor um, and even if it is just people like kids whatever messing around I'm on my own so I'm not about to take risks um, so yeah and now I'm trudging through this overgrown um, nettles have been stung to death and I'm just trying to make my way back to the main the main uh, the main buildings but I've got all this to contend with so oh god I hate to say this but I've given it up as a as a bad job can't get out the only way out is through that building again there's it's just too deep like I'm gonna quit myself to bits and there's no guarantee that if I go start pushing through all them brambles that I'm gonna be end up back on a path I might just lead to more brambles I don't know how far that goes that way um, get off me so I'm gonna have to go back through that, that building and I really don't really do not want to There's the light at the end of the tunnel. Here goes.
Here's a cool little trick. Um, nobody ever believes me when I try and tell them this. Um, they always think that I'm just trying to set them up or get them to sting themselves, but I'm not. Okay, so the common stinging nettle, uh, nasty little thing, and gives you a nasty little sting and makes you come out in all sorts of little white spots. Okay, hold your breath. Stinging nettles will not sting you, I promise. Watch. See, jobs are good, no stings, and I wouldn't do that just to show off if it was going to sting me. It just really works. Hold your breath, sting, and it'll not sting you. Yeah. Okay, guys, I've done my um, little solo mission of the old abandoned RAF base. Um, like I said, I'm going to do some more background um, history checking on this place when I get home, find out a bit more about this place, why it was ever left to get like this um, and yeah it's been a creepy experience obviously with me being on my own I heard the noises in them different buildings um, may not come across as scary on while watching this but believe me it was really really scary for me walking through there on my own not knowing who was at the other end um, so yeah again as I always say thank you to absolutely everybody for being a part of this channel and supporting and everything that I do and um, yeah I'm gonna wrap it up now um, head back to the car because I feel like I've overstayed my welcome a little bit and I don't want somebody to drive along that single country lane, spot my car and realise that I'm mooching about inside here. I will come back and do you know what would be a great idea? If I had the balls to do an overnighter in this place because, man, you would need some huge, huge, huge balls to do that. Um, so I might have to get a friend involved in that, see if we can put something together and maybe spend the night in here walking around documenting from building to building anyway guys it's been a pleasure hope you're all really well enjoying the channel and um, until next time take it easy